remember, pick me up at two. Don't be late this time, okay? <laughs> See you later. What did you do tonight? That's, uh, I did 10, 20. Whoa, that's my girl. Oh. That's my money. You're looking for the money. Good luck. Shit. Yeah, who is it? They all like it. Say well. About your height. 
fat, thin? Yes. Which? I'm about like you. All right, uh, wait here. Deputy, take over here for me, would hey, you? Hey, I got these papers to deliver. Yeah, deliver them tomorrow. Who's gonna want today's papers tomorrow? What do you got? A bloody mess. You got uh, one butchered up in the hotel room there. Male Caucasian, early 20s. This girl was found behind the dumpster all bloody and bruised. Any witnesses? Yeah, Hispanic guy here delivering papers. He said he uh, saw a man in black crouched over top of her. He grabbed a baseball bat, chased him. To get a description? Man in black. What was she doing in the motel? She's a dancer. Triple ecstasy club. Yeah. yeah. Didn't mean to scare you. Can I come in? I'm Lieutenant Krebs. I'm in charge of your case. Uh, how you feeling? How do I look? Well, you look a lot better than the last time I saw you. See, you got your belongings, huh? Yeah, Sergeant Burns brought them over. He's a good man. Wow. Sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, well, shit happens. I guess if it didn't, I'd be out of a job, huh? I hope you do it well and catch that pig. Well, we're working on it. These cases are never easy. What is? Where are you headed? <sighs> far away. Any beach far away from here. Uh, I can't say I blame you. You will keep in touch. We may need you for a witness. Yeah, I promised Sergeant Burns I would. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm going to take a cab. Thanks. Uh, it's the least I can do. Come on. Thank you. Where are you from? Lots of places. Where are you from originally? Why, my accent? Yeah. I'm from Italy. Huh? I moved here when I was 11. Listen, is this the right way? I've got to make a quick stop first. It won't take long. You never told me about a quick stop. Gina, what you're looking for, you're not going to find in a Greyhound bus. OK? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Is that some dumbass country song? It means that no matter where you go, you always run into yourself. Well, wang a dang dang. Can I get the fuck out, please? All right? I can walk. Just, just a minute. Just a second. Just a second. Okay.
Morning. How'd you sleep? I know that first night's a bitch, huh? Just can't seem to get comfortable. I hope you like your coffee black. What do you want from me? Oh, I don't want anything from you. I'm doing this for you, Gina. Not for myself, all right? One other thing. Feel free to scream all you want, bang the bars. This room is totally soundproof, and there's no one within miles besides myself that could hear you. You have a good day now. Well, what have I done? I was the victim, remember? Lieutenant. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your breakfast! Lieutenant! Hey, did she, uh, did she leave? Did who leave? Gina, Miss Moore. Oh, yeah, she left. I just dropped her at the bus depot. She went in and I drove off. She promised to keep in touch, though, right? Charlie, and when are you gonna learn that a woman like Gina will promise you a lot and deliver little? I don't know, Lieutenant. She seemed different. <laughs> yeah, she was different. She was a dancer at the Triple Ecstasy Club, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Come on, look at this. She was a runaway at 15. She's picked up for soliciting a vice officer at 17. She's arrested for possession of a illegal substance a year later. Shoplifting, assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, you know what the weapon was? Oh. Baseball bat. <laughs> Baseball bat seemed to play an important part in her life. Oh, this time she's screwing the coach of the high school team. Caught him in sack with the cheerleader. She tried hitting a home run with his head. And you really expect her to keep in touch, huh? I don't know, anything's possible. Try it. Watch out for low-flying cows. <laughs> now listen, <laughs> this is one young woman you're never gonna see again. Take my word for it. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know, but then again, you could be wrong. And then again, I'm right. have a perfect example of cause and effect. You get mad at me, and you take it out on the nice breakfast that I prepared for you by throwing it away. Along comes Mr. Rat, who eats the breakfast, and I come along and blow Mr. Rat away. Now, who's to blame, huh? You, me, or Mr. Rat? Was I wrong in fixing you that nice breakfast? Was Mr. Rat wrong for eating it? Or were you wrong? for not showing your appreciation of my efforts by throwing it away. I know that you don't give a damn about Mr. Rat and his family, 
You're not going to shed a tear over the fact that Mr. Rat is not going to go home to Mrs. Rat to help her tuck in the baby rats, fatherless and hungry, all because of you. I just want you to think about that, Gina. You kidnapped me. Kidnapped you. <laughs> what reason would I have to kidnap you? I mean, money? Sex? What do you think I am, some sort of pervert? Oh, then just let me go. Why don't you let me go? Go where? Where would you be going right now if I hadn't rescued you? Rescued! Now that's the word, not kidnapped. Where would you be? You'd be showing your body off to a bunch of depraved idiots. You know? But fortunately, you found Deputy Rock. Deputy Rock. Lieutenant Krabs. Gina, I'm gonna show you the path. I'm gonna show you the way. And then you'll let me go. I know this is hard for you to believe, but I have no other reason to keep you. Hey, I, I don't have any water. I really need to take a shower, please. A shower? Yeah. A shower's a hundred points, Gina. You have to earn that. Just keep on the right path. You will. You'll get there. How much is it? For you, dude? It's free. Now come on, Einstein. Try some. It's just like candy. Candy? No! Don't trust him! And here's what Deputy Rock will do to you! <laughs> Here, come along, cause you're busted! And what do we say to drugs? No, no, no! And who do we call? Deputy Rock! And what does Deputy Rock do? He busts him! What? He busts him! Who busts him? Deputy Rock! Deputy Rock! Deputy Rock! Five points for each one of you. Remember, the point system works. It's a great show. A really great show. Deputy Rock? He's what you're looking for? What are you doing with my keys? Well, they must have fallen out of your pocket while you were busting that evil puppet, but fortunately, I found him. Deputy Rock? <clears throat> it's Lieutenant Krebs. Mrs. Taylor? Miss, although I prefer just plain Ruthie. It's a, I have such a hard time separating the two of you, you know, the brave, virtuous officer of the law and the <laughs> other, I guess, your yin side. One side of the hand, gentle fingers meant for caressing. The other's a hard, violent fist. <laughs> Listen, I am positive that I can make Deputy Rock, Aka Lieutenant Krebs, as famous as Kermit the Frog and just as rich. All I am asking you is for an opportunity to prove myself by becoming your manager. I'm really not interested. Well, uh, you just, and, and you don't even have to quit your job at the Sheriff's Department because I could arrange your schedule so you could do both. And I want you to think about the money. You could use it to fight drugs, feed starving kids, anything you want. Think about all the good that you could do. What makes you think that I care about doing good things? Well, why are you doing this? The points. Points?
Smell that, Gina? Huh? <laughs> That's my specialty. My pork chop. Best damn thing you'll ever put down your throat. Tell you that. And I got extra if you're interested. Guess not. to the pretty little lady. I hope you like pork chops. There's no frozen stuff served at this hotel. What do I eat with? You need a knife and fork. No, you're gonna have to earn those. Try your fingers. When you get to know me better, you'll learn that the reward system is my bedrock. It's my religion. When I was a kid, I had a laundry list of chores, and they all carried the death penalty if I didn't do them totally to pop satisfaction. Or are you curious what the reward was? What? That's just it. It was nothing. It wasn't important. It was a piece of air. It was the fact that you had earned it. It was so valuable, unforgettable. And then, even though you didn't remember what it was, it wasn't the reward. It's what it did for you as a person. And you can look and see what it did for me. Right? Go on and eat. Eating is five points. Try the pork chop. Not too greasy, huh? No. What? Not greasy. Enjoy your dinner. Disgusting! Well, Gina, you're losing all your points. You're getting into the negative column.
for your kind, not with Deputy Rock on duty. <laughs> Oh, I like it a lot. That's a good job, Deputy Rock, uh, uh, Lieutenant Krebs. And I have got 20 hours of tapes from elementary schools all over the state exactly like that. And the kids' reaction is always the same. They love Deputy Rock, and they hang on his every word. But you know what's more important? Is they really believe in your message. If you're gonna have anything at all to do with drugs, Deputy Rock's gonna bust you. She's 100% right, Lieutenant. This uh, puppet thing is just a hobby. Uh, well, well, maybe, maybe to you, but you see, to those kids, you represent the drug-free future of this country. It's a, it's a shining path to a, to a better life, and, and more important, the opportunity to put this city on the map, the birthplace of Deputy Rock. I wasn't born here. Yeah, but I'm talking about Deputy Rock, he was born right here in Redwood. You sure you can get this thing going? Oh, I'm positive. I I've already convinced my boss to give us a Saturday morning slot. And I'm gonna see to it that Deputy Rock gets all the free time he needs. Well, forget this, I I I'm not interested. I'm not interested? <laughs> what you're saying, Chris? What are you, you're not interested in what? Help me keep American kids off drugs? Come on. Now what you want your record? Lieutenant Krebs couldn't give a damn about the youth of this great nation? No more No more No more I want you to call the mayor and I want you to tell him that your boss changed his mind about airing the show. Sorry, Rock, I can't do that. It's not about you anymore. Then who's it about? The innocent children. Bullshit. <laughs> OK, bullshit. It's about me, my needs, my desires, things that you couldn't possibly understand. You're saying you have no idea whatsoever where she is. No idea in hell. <laughs> okay, look, if you could just give me a call when you... All right, well, you have a nice day, too. That was her mother on the phone. Whose mother? Uh, the girl was attacked at the motel. Her boyfriend was killed. The whore? The dancer, yeah. Gina Moore. I'm, I'm trying to locate her. Why? Uh, this. Just came in of the wire. A raven kiss. She was a dancer who was attacked at a place called the Kit Kat Club a couple hundred miles from here. Three Ks, huh? Yeah, how'd you guess? I've been intelligence for a while. <laughs> This is her attacker, Joe Cody. She was very lucky. Suffered a couple of bruises to her neck before he was apprehended. Man in black? You know, it could be a coincidence, but I doubt it. So I figure if we can get Miss Moore back here to ID him, we got ourselves a murder suspect. And you got yourself a promotion, son. Congratulations. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Finally. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. What do you want from me? I just wanted to talk. I just had a very tough day. Somebody's trying to knock me off my pins. I, I, I could just sit. I, uh... 
What were you like as a kid? I bet you played house, huh? And you had a little dog. No, no, you would have had a kid. You'd had a furry little kid, right? I had shit. You have brothers and sisters? A brother. Two years older. I don't even know where he is anymore. What about your father? Listen, what the hell is this? Why don't we make a deal? You let me go, and I'll tell you my whole life. You won't lose me. We can keep in touch. I can write you emails, letters. We, we can uh, have reunions every two, three years. Drink a beer and talk about the good old days when you used to keep me locked up like a fucking animal. Would you like that? Hmm? Well, you really hate me, don't you? Hate you? No, I don't hate you. It's like beyond hate. You're a monster. This is like a fucking nightmare I can't wake up from. I'm really sorry that you feel like that. Well, fuck that. I can't do anything with your sorry. But I am really sorry. I am really sorry. I... Go on. You might make it. It's just a short distance to the stairs. You know, through the kitchen, out the back door, disappear into the dark. If you kill me, who's gonna open the door? You said the lock is bulletproof. Isn't that what you told me? Some of them will come looking for me as soon as I don't show up at the station. Yeah? Huh? Sergeant Burns. And how are you gonna explain this to and me? I'll take my chances. You willing to take your chance, huh? You want to make a run for freedom, Gina? You want to run for freedom? Go ahead. Hey, the gun could be empty. I didn't count, did you? Huh? You might get lucky. Go on, you want to take a chance? Huh? Oh. Now. Am I holding an empty gun? Huh? Was that the last one? Now. Don't make a monster out of me. Unlock the door, please. Unlock the door. Please. Okay, then. I'll just have to do it myself. So, in the end, Gina, it's all about being free. Huh? No one can hear you, Gina. Come inside, I'll make you a nice cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> can hear you. No one can hear you, Gina. Get up. Get up.
morning. Good morning. How do you like your flowers? Oh, they're beautiful. That's a Valentine's Day present. Valentine? Yeah. You've been here three months. Those wildflowers, uh, they grow up near the lake. Maybe I could take you up there sometime, huh? Would you like that? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yes, I would like that very much. <laughs> when? Oh, you're gonna have to get a lot of points for that. But, uh, just keep up the good work, huh? I will. Would you mind if I, uh, visited for a while? Please, do. Thank you. So, I got to go to internal affairs this morning. One of my deputies, Charlie Burns, you know Sergeant Burns. Oh, sure I do. Um, how is Sergeant Burns? Oh, he's fine. But Charlie gave this guy a speeding ticket. This guy gives him a ton of attitude. He says, the reason you're pulling me over is because I'm black. Now, Charlie doesn't have a prejudiced bone in his entire body. As a matter of fact, he's married to a Jewish girl. He may even be Jewish himself, for all I know. Burns could be shortened for Bernstein, right? So here I am, this morning, going in front of IA, and I got to defend a possible Jew for giving a black a speeding ticket on China Lake Road. Now, is that crazy or what? Huh? <laughs> it's crazy. Right. <laughs> anyway, I gotta be going. Oh, don't you need me to buy you some uh, personal items? No. Well, what about? Oh, no, I quit having my period. Had this happened to you before? Um, yeah, once. When I was pregnant. Could you be? No. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. What? Take a guess. A guess? Remember I told you that I was going to add up your points, right? Ah. Uh -huh. Well, guess how many you got. Um... Oh, no. 350 points. Wow. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of myself. That's the spirit. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> hey. I think you're spinning your wheels. That's what I think, Charlie. Yeah, well, you could be right. But if this Cody takes a plea bargain on assault with a deadly weapon, what? Walks in a couple years, maybe kills someone else? She only saw his eyes, Charlie. Yeah, and remembered his voice. I like it. They all like it. Remember, it was embedded in her brain. Did you check out the clubs? From Aphrodite to Zippers, I also talked to about 50 girls who danced the circuit with Gina. You know what I think? I think that I think she was ready to quit dancing. Yeah, and cows still fly. I'm, I'm serious, Lieutenant. I think with what she'd been through, she was ready to to turn over a new leaf. You know, settle down, start a good clean life, become a nun. I wouldn't go as far as to say that, but. You know, on the way to her dream, something bad happened, Lieutenant. And I'm going to figure out what it was, and I'm going to figure out who. You do that, Charlie. Do that.
you like burgers. I love burgers. Good. I'm not talking about wimpy little patties, either. I mean, <laughs> now, is that a burger or what? No, that's a burger. <laughs> like pickles? Yeah. Okay. How about chili? Yeah, I like that a lot. Well, that's good, because they ladle a generous amount of chili on every burger. Oh, a chili burger. That's right. Sounds yummy. Yeah, wait till you taste it. And I got you some French fries and a nice cold drink. I can't cook every night. I wish I could. Thank you. Okay. Don't you want to know uh, how it came out today? Internal Affairs. Oh, yeah. How did it come out today at Internal Affairs? Thank you for asking. I told them in no uncertain terms that if Sergeant Burns gave that man a ticket, going 75 in a 50-mile-an-hour zone, that's exactly what happened. And it had nothing to do with him being blind. Right, and did you mention the um, Jewish wife? Yeah, I did, but citing officer, he asked, what does his wife being Jewish have to do with giving a black man a speeding ticket? So what did you do? Well, I nailed him good. I did my homework, yeah? I found out this wasn't the first speeding ticket this guy's gotten this year. He got three, and the other two were given by officers of his own persuasion. Sergeant Burns' case was dismissed. Yeah, I take care of my men. <sighs> what was your day like? Oh. Your day? I mean, what did you do? What kind of thoughts did you have in that pretty little mind, huh? I ask you a question. I thought about my life. Well, that's good. What did you think about your life? I thought about how I wasted it. And if I was to do it all over again, I would I'd be different. How different? Try to do something useful. Social worker? Nurse. Yeah, nurse. Boy. Well, a lot better than what you were doing, huh? Not like that. Dancing. Oh. <laughs> it's like a undulating, like a cobra undulating. Except, man doesn't ask a cobra to go out for a drink afterwards or a buck. How many times you been knocked up, anyway? Once. Only once. Who was it? Do you even know? It wasn't that punk that was in the motel room. No. I was much younger. Let me guess. It was the coach of the high school team, the one that you caught with the cheerleader and you tried to decapitate with the baseball bat. Was that it? Yes. Ha ha! But you're gonna be all right, because Deputy Rock will rescue you. Ha ha ha, huh? Okay. Good night. How did that make you feel? What? When you got rid of the kid. <clears throat> Sad. No. I, I really want it to happen. I'm really sorry. Life is very sacred. 
I'm going to give you 10 points for tonight. 10 points. Lieutenant? What can I do for you? You remember when you said that you didn't see Gina go into the, the bus depot because you had a meeting that morning with the chief? Yeah, I remember saying something like that. Yeah. Well, exactly that. Well, exactly that. What's the point? Well, there was no meeting that morning. See, the chief was called out of town uh, the day before on an emergency. That's right. He wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Sure, uh, somehow that, uh, that information didn't get trickled down to me, so I didn't know it was canceled. I didn't find out until I got there. Well, I knew you'd say that. Because it's the truth. <laughs> That's why I knew you'd say it. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Charlie. Were you checking on me? I'm checking on you, Lieutenant? No way. No, I'm just leaving no stone unturned until I find out what happened to Miss Moore. All right. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Gina, congratulations to you and many more. What's that? <laughs> what does that say? 850 points. Do you know how long it took me as a kid to get 850 points? A long, long time, Gina. A very, very long time. Yeah? Where do I go to redeem them? 
Let's do a list of prices. Uh, what do I get? A TV? Or maybe a trip to Hawaii? Or maybe a parole? You get the points for being good, Gina. Obedient. Like a doggy. Look at it. What is it? The reward. Dress. Put it on. I'll meet you upstairs. Pretty. Thanks. Well, it's not exactly hard time, huh? Not hard, no. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> French wine. Puy fume. Thanks. To your help. To yours, too. Mmm. Good, huh? Yeah. The secret? And the temperature. 62 degrees. Now, a lot of people think that the white wine need to serve it real cold. They even put ice cubes in it. But no. Uh-uh. Mm. Did I tell you that my mother was French? No. Was she? Yep. Well, she was born here, but her mother, my grandmother, was born in Marseille. To us. <laughs> so how did your mother and father meet? Well, when Pop got back from the Army, he got a job in law enforcement. Oh, he was a sheriff, too? Cop. You never told me what your father did. Oh, um, my stepfather. He was a minister. No shit. He saw God every time he looked in the mirror. Don't they all? Anyway, one night, this uh, fight broke out in a strip club. I guess you know how that can happen, huh? Pop was called down to the scene, met my future mom. What was she doing there? She was stripping. Of course, as soon as they were married, that stopped. And Pop, he never let her forget her past for one minute. Where are they now? He died of a cop's disease, a bullet to his head. You like uh, liver pate? Mm. It's imported. Where is your mother? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know. You know, one time when I was, uh, well, maybe uh, 10 years old, I got in some terrible problems about, uh, you know, getting points. Pop uh, locked me up in a little room in the basement. Yeah, he kept me there. For how long? Seemed forever, but probably only two or three weeks. I mean, he fed me okay, and he came and talked to me once a day. And he told me that it was harder on him than it was on me. And I believe him. I think he was telling the truth. But that uh, he just had to do it. For your own good. That's right. 
What about your mother? Mo my mother? Yeah. How, how could she let him do that to you? No, no. My pop made all the rules. Are you kidding? Anyway, when I got out, she was gone. She just split. You never saw her again? No. Just flew away. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little more wine.
I, uh, I think she danced at your club about three years ago. Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. You know how many girls pass through here? Yeah, well, I'm only interested in this one. Yeah, I kind of remember her. Well, have you heard from her since then? No, 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 no. They never keep in touch. I figure she went the way all honeys go. You know, the way of all flesh. Flesh goes a lot of ways. Can you be a little more specific? Porno, call girl, streetwalker, morgue. Hey, why are you interested in tomorrow anyway? I'm not sure. It's just when one dancer goes missing and you come across another one missing too, well, that's just one coincidence too many. Thanks for your help. Welcome to Deputy Rock's Ranch. Yeah, yeah, ranch. I like that. That's got a nice wholesome sound to it. Uh, note, note, add some shots of horses. We will ride the bumpy road to the house itself, just like Deputy Rock does every night on his way home after busting those bastards, sell the vile drugs to our innocent youth. <laughs> you can't say bastards, that's stupid. Cut the last part. What's that? What do we got here? Closer. Deputy Rock. Ah, uh, even late at night, Deputy Rock's on duty. <laughs> what do you want? How was your day? Eh, not bad. Yours? Mine was enlightening. What, do you want to tell me about it? Yeah. You want to know how enlightening it was? Yeah, sure, why not? Who is she? Who? Who is, what are you talking about? That whore that you're screwing in the woods. Who is she? Uh, I mean, was it uh, fun? Just a person from my past. I mean, she called, she was, said she was out here on, on business and uh, wanted to see if it would be fun for us to get together and, yeah. And was it fun? <laughs> Do you want the truth, Ruthie? Deputy Rock never lies. Not Deputy Rock. It was about as much fun as going to the dentist. Of course, what you do on your spare time is your business. Oh, yeah, but you have an image to maintain, you know? You, we don't want Deputy Rock out running around in the woods with his gun out. Somebody might have seen you. It's a good thing I caught it on the tape first. What were you doing out here? Shooting a promo. Deputy Rock's gone national. Congratulations. Well, congratulations to you, too. Hey, maybe we should celebrate, get a drink or something. Tonight? Mm. Yeah, you and me. Well, uh, <clears throat> I've got a court appearance early in the morning. So, uh, take a rain check, maybe do it another time, huh? Sure, another time.
Will you see me? What are you doing here? He kidnapped me. My name is my name is Gina Moore. He kept he kept me here in a cage like, like a dog. You look like a dog in heat yesterday, sister. What? Sorry, you words. Oh. None of the keys fit. Can you go and get help? He's gonna kill me, miss. Please go and get help. Do you have a phone? That is beautiful. You don't understand. He's gonna. He, Can you go get him? He's gonna come back. Shut up! up! No. I 
got evidence now. Where are you going? To call 911. Welcome home, Deputy Rock. How did you get in? You were careless with your keys. One time too many. I guess you got a lot on your mind. Now, how about that drink you promised me? Oh, don't worry about the authorities. I didn't call them. I admit, I thought about it, but then... Changed my mind. Cheers. I can explain about her. I'm sure you can, but personally, I don't give a damn. What do you want? The total devotion of a man who for whatever reason, turns me on like crazy. A man like you, Deputy Rock. The question is, do I do the same for you, Rock? Do I, Rock? Yeah, sure. Yeah, to our future. Now, I suppose you're wondering, what's in this union for me? Well, success for one thing. I can take you far. <laughs> you can close your eyes at night, knowing that I wouldn't be dreaming of anybody but you, and wouldn't be plotting to hurt you. But the question is, <laughs> Would you be plotting to hurt me? I mean, knowing what I know. Before you answer that, let me show you something. I took some pictures of your pretty little whore in the basement. Oh, look. And I borrowed your email on your computer sent it to my computer at the office, and then I called my lawyer and told him, you know, if anything were to happen to me, like I were to disappear or turn up missing or dead, well, he should download it and read my message, and I figured he'd know what to do then, but I don't really want to talk about that. Not now. I just want to know Am I the woman of your dreams? Or your worst nightmare? Which is it? Just tell me. It's a match made in heaven. gonna do about her <laughs> I mean two's company three's a prison right <gasps> I wouldn't do anything to hurt you rock I, I read I know <gasps> my computer's down
can't find. It's like she just disappeared. I just dropped her at the bus depot and in and I drove off. I just dropped her off and left. You ought to be looking for the guy who gave her a lift. I'm a coincidence, Lieutenant. Something wrong? Mm. You comfortable or not too tight? No, I'm not very comfortable. Well, believe me, in a perfect world, I'd rather you were free to move about. If you want something, you can get up and get it. I like that. Yes, but it's not a perfect world. You were head as bad. Well, maybe you could make it like that. <laughs> like how? Now, how would you suggest I do that? Well, Now, go on. I'm really interested in you. I think you should work on your trust. My trust? Right. Trust more. You mean trust you more? Yeah. Why don't you let me go? Please let me go. I promise I'll never look back. Please let me go. If that's what you really want. Really want it really, really bad. Okay. You mean it? Wait here. Isn't that? Yeah. Happy birthday, Gina. I've been here a year. <laughs> Blow out the candles, but wait, ooh, wait, make a wish first. Now it'll come true. You'll be free as a bird. When? After the show. think you're going tonight? To a movie. A movie, my ass. You tell me where you're going. To a movie. Tell me the truth, you lying whore. I, I'm go going out to dance. To be wanted and loved. Love? You call that love? Showing off your body to a pack of depraved animals? Letting them feel you up like a two-bit whore? Is that what you call love? I... I don't know. It's been so long since I've had any. You don't deserve love. Why? You don't have enough points. You just don't get love. You have to earn it. You have to earn it, and you don't have enough points. Not enough points. You don't have enough points. No applause for Pop. He killed your mother. She wanted to be free. Why didn't he just let her go? He loved her. Gina, give me the knife. What knife? The one you took out of the fruit bowl. And just give it to me. I was hoping you were going to be different. <laughs> But you're just like all the fucking press.
you want. Because it's going to be the last you ever make. Just keep it up. Keep it up. I got you. Come on, stay tight. Okay, come on. Come on, let me warm you up. Come here. No more points, do you know? No more. One happy little lady. Number four, step forward. Say you like it, they all like it. You like it, they all like it. Step back. Number five, step forward. Say you like it, they all like it. You like it. They all like it. It's him. Um... Number five? Yes. You sure, Dean? I'll never forget that voice. That's him. Joe Cody. Can I go now? Sure. Listen, uh, I'll give you a lift to the bus depot. 
No, I'd rather take a taxi.